Hello and welcome to Understanding Algebra and Other Arithmetic. I am your teacher, Mr. Honeycutt. Okay? And today's lesson will be about addition. Very, very simple. If you do not already have your annotations option on and it's off, I suggest you turn it on immediately or else this whole little episode won't make sense. So turn them on if it's on. Also, if you don't know your numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, uh, I really don't suggest you watch this episode because you really need to know numbers in order to add. Just basic math. So, here we go. If you don't know or already know how to addition, do addition. It's very simple. It's just taking one number and adding to it. I hope you all know what adding means. Okay, good. For example, if I have one finger and I'm adding another finger, how many fingers do I have? One, two. Two fingers. So, in the number form, one plus one equals two. Now, I'm writing backwards, so please bear with me. Thank you. One plus one equals two. Now, how do you know that this is an addition sentence? I know there's subtraction and addition, but there are differences. An addition sentence has a line and a little cross representing a plus. I call it a plus sign. If it's subtraction, it will have a kind of like a little hyphen sign. That is known as the minus sign because you're taking something away from a whole number. And we are actually adding a whole number. So we will use the plus sign also appears to be a cross, which is good. All right, let's try something else to make sure you have it. Um, three plus four, okay? Three plus four. Let's do this on our fingers. It's easiest to add on your fingers, unless you have it memorized and whatnot. One, two, three, that'll be the first one. Now we'll add four, one, two, three, four. And just basically add up, count your fingers. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. So three plus four equals seven. Very easy math. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Oh, there are also some important vocabulary. Hello, assistant. There are also very Let your assistant important. Hang on. You're mean to me. You fired me. Have fun. Anyways, there is some very important vocabulary that you need to know for adding. Um, let's start with some. Sum is spelled like this. Sum. Really cool. If you don't see anything here, it's an annotation. I suggest you turn it on if you don't see anything. Anyways, sum. Sum is the answer to the addition problem. So seven is the answer. So therefore, it is known as the sum. Sum. Three and four. Well, what are they known as? Three and four are known as the addends. Addends. So an add-in plus an add-in equals the sum. That should make sense, right? Good. Three and four are the add-ins. Seven is the sum. Get that through your head, please. Addition sentences can also be written like this, okay? It looks like an E. Three plus four equals seven. They can also be written like that. Now what is the sum here? The sum is the answer. So seven is the sum because it's the answer and three and four are the addings. Very simple math. Adding is always fun. If you're new to adding, I suggest you use your fingers a lot. There are some great programs to help you if you buy them like Oh, I don't know. Online programs and whatnot. Like Bad Rub. That's a really good program you can use. Anyways, that has been today's lesson on adding. I have some other episodes that are for harder math and whatnot. So check them out for a friend, whatnot, comment. But do be gentle, because everyone be a critic. The end. Now let us go over some vocabulary. Don't forget that the numbers equaling the answer are called add-ins, and the answer is known as sum. 
Thanks for watching.